Greetings, everyone. I just wanted to just briefly go over as a refresher uh, how to access your gradebook and how to submit your grades into the Moodle gradebook. Uh, sometimes, if, especially if you haven't taught for a semester or, or longer, sometimes it could be um, a little frustrating to be able to access your gradebook and make uh, changes to it. So I just thought it'd be a, a, just a good reminder to just kind of overview uh, how to do that and how to submit your uh, grades for your students' assignments. So well, let's just take a brief walk through and uh, show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do, of course, is to uh, log into your course in the online.tiu.edu portal. And once you're there, you'll see your course uh, will show up. And uh, what you'll need to do is to, uh, number one, if you're grading just a normal assignment as in not a discussion form assignment, uh, you'll just want to access the assignment directly. So what I mean by that is that you'll scroll down to the particular unit the assignment's in, and you'll actually click on that assignment as I'm doing right here. And once you're there, you'll see a brief summary of uh, how many participants or how many students that you have enrolled in your course, uh, how many of those student, students have actually submitted the assignment for grading, and next to that will be how many of those assignments still need to be graded by you, and below that is the actual due date that the assignment uh, is due as well. And below that will be, if, if in case the assignment deadline has not elapsed yet, you'll see um, a time remaining there as well. But we need to focus on what is directly below that grading summary, where you'll see a link to view and grade all submissions. So if we click that, it will direct you to your uh, student roster. And there you'll see each of the students who are enrolled in your course, their contact information, uh, the status, basically just giving you an overview of uh, whether or not they've actually submitted the assignment. And if it is overdue, it'll show you in red that the assignment is overdue by how many days or hours. And right next to that, you'll see a grade column. And I know that this probably isn't as intuitive as it should be, but if you hover over the icon that looks like a pen and paper, you'll see that it says grade. And if you click that icon, it will actually direct you to where uh, the actual document uh, is that the student has actually submitted for you to grade. And if this had been a real, if this had been a real course and a real student and a real submission of the assignment, you would see that document in this area and it will be either a word document a powerpoint presentation a pdf file of so or whatever type of file that was uh, required for them to submit for the assignment and you could just click that it would be a link and it would directly download that file to your uh, desktop and you can actually open that grade that make any kind of annotations that you'd like and resubmit that to the back to the assignment as an attachment within Moodle right here so that they could actually um, read over any of the uh, comments that you've made and any evaluative feedback that you may have made so that they can uh, do better the next time or encouragement that they needed for uh, doing a good job on the assignment. And below that, you can actually put the grade in uh, for the assignment that they, and this will actually tie in directly to the grade book. And by default, this drop down menu at the bottom of the grade uh, category here says notify students and we normally that is set to default as yes. So that once you have uh, clicked on save changes or save, save and show next, uh, that will automatically send a notification to the student that you've graded their work. And so that they, that kind of gives them a prompt to go back in and look at uh, the feedback that you've given them and the, and the, uh, the grade that you've, show, you've uh, shared with them as well. So hopefully this uh, makes it a little bit easier, kind of serves as a refresher uh, of how to access the gradebook and how to utilize the assignment portal to uh, make grading uh, for different assignments a little bit easier. But if not, make sure that you contact me and I'll be glad to kind of walk you through or ask or answer and field any questions that you may have um, on the gradebook. Well, this tutorial was beneficial, but if there were some questions that were not addressed in the tutorial, I'd be more than happy to uh, discuss those 
things further with you, and you can contact me via the email address or the phone number that is provided for you on the screen. Or if you're in the area, I'll be more than happy to sit down and have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with you uh, regarding what was discussed in the video. And my office is located on campus in the Madsen building, and the room number is L54A.